What's going on, guys? It's Investing Hustler here. And today we have a very green day in the marijuana industry. So if you guys tuned in on my pre-market live, we touched up on all these companies. We touched up on Aurora, on Cron, on Canopy, on Tilray, on Afria. And from the looks of it, we had a very green morning and it just pushed forward throughout the day. So I'm just going to touch up on all these companies right now. Aurora Cannabis finally surpassed the $10 resistance line. They were really struggling to pass that $10 resistance line, and they finally did it today. As you can see, at one point, Aurora Cannabis had a daytime high of $10.94, and they're currently sitting at $10.79 now. And also, I did make a video on Friday titled, Aurora Cannabis a Strong Buy, and that was on Friday. And maybe I could show you guys real quick right here. So yes, this video was made on Friday, two days ago. Aurora Cannabis, a strong buy. And if we look at the chart, obviously there was a good reason as to why Aurora Cannabis was a strong buy. And I did also mention in this video that you can never gamble on technical analysis. But like mentioned, for the first time ever, I saw Aurora was a buy, a strong buy, and a strong buy. Today, Aurora is a neutral, a buy, and a strong buy. Friday, it was a strong buy, a strong buy a buy and a strong buy. So that was the first time I've seen that in a while. And it was for good reason. As you could see, Aurora had an amazing day today. It's a great way to start off the week. Now, the real question is, will Aurora Cannabis continue put to push forward throughout the week or will it start to decline and we're going to lose those gains? That's the real question. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. Also, before we get this video started, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment and share this video with a friend. So we're going to look at Aurora Cannabis real quick. And since this run, Aurora Cannabis P ratio has gone up. It's now a 41.12. Price to revenue is 126. Price to sales is 175. So Aurora Cannabis is a little overvalued, but at the same time, this is a growth stock. I wouldn't be surprised to see Aurora continue to push forward. Not to mention Aurora Cannabis earnings are coming up February 11th. And if earnings go as predicted, which I did make a video where I do talk about Aurora Cannabis earnings, um, maybe I could show you right here, Aurora Cannabis earnings prediction. I predicted exactly how much I think Aurora will announce on their gross revenue. So you guys can check out that video right here, Aurora Cannabis earnings prediction. If everything goes according to plan, Aurora Cannabis could have a very nice run. So right now, Aurora Cannabis market cap is at $9.68 billion. They're almost back to being a $10 billion company and earnings are coming up. My guess is that their earnings are going to be between 50 to $60 million gross revenue. It would be amazing to see them go, be, go above $60 million, but we don't know for sure. But not everything was green today. Right now it's 224, so markets are still open. Um, we did have a nice day all around, like Aurora was up. 11.34%. Kronos, one of our big winners for the day, continues to push forward past $32 Canadian. Mm -hmm. And this company, I, I already mentioned that this company is very overvalued, but we've seen the same thing happen with Canopy when they had that constellation deal. Kronos went, um, Canopy went on a nice run. They went all the way up to 75 before having, before hitting a nice correction. So the real question is how high will Kronos go? Is it going to continue to push forward to the 40s, to the 50s? That is very unlikely, but I won't be surprised to see it. And at the same time, I, I do expect to see a nice cor correction with Kronos after this nice run. So we'll see how long this run can go for. Right now, Kronos is on fire and clearly the bulls are winning and the bears are losing in this match. So another company that went up today, Tilray went up 7%, but it wasn't all good in the marijuana industry. Namaste went down 13% and there's a reason why I'm gonna to touch up on that article. Let's just look at these other companies real quick. Hemp went up 2.56%. Uh, TGAR went up 4.68%. Kushko went up 7.18%. I'm pretty happy to see Kushko go up. That was one of my positions. Afria went up 12.5%. I actually collected some profits with Afria today. And I also collected some profits with Hexo today. Hexo went up 6.4%. I still have a position in Afria and Hexo. So I'm, I'm still holding on to some shares, but I just, whether the company continues to push forward or not, I'll collect profits. That way I'm guaranteed to not lose. That way I'm guaranteed to put some money in my pocket. And I still have my, my shares that I'm holding with that company. That way, if the company continues to push forward, I still have 
one foot inside the door, one foot out. I'm having my cake and eating it too. That's the only way you can really do it. Well, that's the only way I like to do it. So let's touch up on why Namaste is um, having a very bad red day today. So I'm just going to touch up on a bunch of these articles real quick. So Canadian cannabis company Namaste stock slides after CEO is fired for cause. So U.S. listed shares of Canadian medical cannabis company Namaste Technology Inc. fell 20% in early trade month. An early trade Monday after the company said it has fired its controversial chief executive for cause and launched a review for its strategic options that may end in a sale. So Toronto-based Namaste, which started life-selling vapes, said it terminated Sean Dollinger after an investigation by a special committee of the board and removed him as director with immediate effect. So the investigation was sparked by allegations made by a short seller that the company does not name, but that is likely to be Andrew Left of Citroen Research left wrote in October that Dollinger had committed securities fraud. By lying to the investors about the sale of the company's U.S. unit, Dollinger told investors the buyer was a group out of Europe and when it was actually purchased by the company's marketing chief and head of human resources, according to Left. It's possible that Andrew Left is the one making these allegations. Andrew Left has been shorting the marijuana industry for as long as I can remember. And if you guys watched my last video, I did mention that he is now shorting Kronos, which he's down on because Kronos continues to push forward. So let's move on to the next paragraph. On Monday, Namaste said the only allegation that was substantiated and required action is recommended by the special committee related to the sale of Namaste's U.S. subsidiary Dollinger Enterprises U.S. in 2017. So Namaste has launched legal action against Dollinger for damages and disgorgement, said the statement. It's not looking good for Namaste right now. We're going to look at their charts. So Namaste Technologies right now, they're currently down 13.7%, currently sitting at $1.19. We'll look at their technical analysis. Namaste is currently a neutral, a sell, and a strong sell. If we look at their one minute, they're a sell, sell, and a strong sell. So honestly, if Namaste continues to, to decline, even if it's below a dollar, I might be tempted to pick up some Namaste shares because I've been in this situation before, like when Afrio was being attacked and shorted and given a zero dollar buy recommendation, I was continuing to buy Afria shares regardless of the whole short attack. And um, right now it's very tempting to buy some Namaste shares because I feel like Namaste eventually will recover, but I'm not recommending anyone to do the same. This video is strictly for educational and entertainment purposes. So make sure you guys always do your due diligence and make sure you only invest in companies that you guys believe in. So the hot companies for today were Afria, Kronos, Tilray, and um, Aurora. So they had significant gains today. I'm just going to touch up on this article real quick. Let's see what they have to say. So leading gains, Afria is gaining significantly once again with the stock up nearly 10% today. This performance comes despite the fact that Citroen Research tweeted last week that it's exited its position after the stock was nearly 60% higher over the last month. Kronos Group Kron was also trading nearly 9.3% higher in the morning. And not to mention, I also sold some Afria shares today, but I'm also holding on to half of my remaining position. So I'm still holding on to my position with confidence because I feel like I have my shares at a nice price. It's a little bit below $8.50. So I'm sitting on about 60% gains with Afria right now, and I'm pretty happy. I collected some profits, so I'm not complaining. I don't plan to sell all my Afria shares ever. If uh, Afria declines below $8.50, I'll be happy and I'll average down. Um, but let's just look at the rest. So other cannabis stocks that were higher this morning include Hexo. Yes, I touched up on Hexo. I also sold some Hexo shares this morning. The cannabis sector appeared to be optimistic. The Horizons Marijuana Life Scientist, HMMJ, was up nearly 4%. 4.7%. Tilray was up 7.6%, while Aurora Cannabis was trading nearly 7.9% higher in the early morning trading session. So yes, we touched up on all these companies in the morning in my pre-market, and all of them were on fire. The only questionable company was Namaste because of those, uh, because of that whole CEO being fired. And actually, I do want to touch up on one company that was simply on fire in the pre-market, and one of my um, one of my viewers brought it up, and I just feel like I should bring it up to all you guys right now if you missed out on the pre-market and it was MXWL Maxwell Technologies and they're up 49% today and in the pre-market they were up 52% at one point and one of my viewers brought that up so that was a good call by by uh, Max 
by I, I forget his name, but shout outs to him. Um, he called this company out, and the reason why uh, Maxwell Technologies is up 49% is because Tesla. Let's see if I can find the article real quick. Maybe I'll make a separate video just on that. Tesla buys battery technology company, and that company is Maxwell Technologies. So that's a company I think you guys should add to your watch list. Um, obviously, I don't recommend buying this company at these prices unless you're a very high risk in investor who knows how to cut losses and who knows when to take profits. But right now, if you look at these charts, they're kind of trading sideways. So it looks like they've reached their peak. They've actually been declining a bit since the morning because they were up 52%. Now they're only up 49%. So this is just a very interesting company to keep an eye on. Um, I don't recommend anyone buying it after getting almost 50% in gains in literally one day. I just want to call this company out because they had a very nice run in the morning. So another company I wanted to bring up was this company has seen huge swings today. So another one of my viewers brought this up in the pre-market show this morning. They were up 18% in the pre-market. And as you can see, they went up almost 15 or 18%. And then they've just been declining throughout the whole day. And the reason why they went out, they had that large spike in the morning was because they had a super Super Bowl ad. And right here you could say Barista Super Bowl ads success at the game makes CBD commercial history for entire hemp industry. But as you can see now, they're negative 42.72%. So that might have just been a pump and dump because um this is a penny stock, a very high risk stock. I just I don't recommend anyone to purchase this stock right now. I just recommend you guys to add it to your watch list, BCCI. Uh, Baristas Coffee Company Inc. And they're currently down 42%. And honestly, at these prices, I'm very tempted to start a position and maybe gamble with them because the fact that a company can go up 18% in the morning and then go up, go down 42% throughout, uh, throughout the day just makes it super volatile. And if you're a day trader, a swing trader, you enjoy that volatility, but it's a very high risk company. Once again, I don't recommend any beginners investing in this company. When it comes to investing in the penny stocks, you need to know when to cut losses. You need to know when to collect profits. And this is simply a, like a very high risk stock right now. They're at the bottom of their day range. They hit a high of 12 cents, 12.8, and they, they went low of now 0 0.56 so yeah that's it for that i i feel like this video has already got pretty long i might make a second video today and touch up on other companies that i wanted to talk about so that's it for now guys if you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed don't forget to hit that notification bell and smash that subscribe button i'll see you guys on my next video Bye bye